Now we'll talk about octet rule. What is the octet rule? It's a chemical rule that states that atoms of main group elements tend to combine in such a way that each atom has 8 electrons in its valence shell given it the same electronic configuration as a noble gas. You can see you got carbon which got only 4 valence electrons. It got only 4 valence electron. What is the valence electron? Valence electron is the number of electrons which is there in the outer shell. That's called valence electrons. So, your oxygen contains a 6 valence electron. Here 2, here 2 and another 2. And here 6 valence electron another 2. So, your carbon contains a 4 valence electron and oxygen contains 2 valence electron, 6 valence electron. So, here oxygen gives 2 valence and carbon gives 2 valence to form 8 valence electrons. So, if the condition satisfied by the center element or main element with the 8 valence electron is referred to as octet rule. The center element with the 8 valence electron or stable valence electron is called as octet group, octet rule. The atoms will gain or loss that's called ionic compounds and if it is shared then it's called covalent compounds. We will talk about chemical bonding. A chemical bond is an attraction between atoms that allows the formation of chemical substances that contain two or more atoms. So, two atoms are close enough for their atomic orbitals to mix. So, if the atoms are similar or it may be different. If it is different, it is called ionic bonding and if it is similar, and it's on metals, it's metallic. And if it is non-metal, it's covalent bonding. If the electronegative value is really closer, it's called non-polar covalent. If it is different, it's polar covalent. So these are the types of chemical bonding. First, we will talk about ionic bonding. So as specified, ionic bonding will be happening if the electronegativity value of two items are different. So, it's a chemical bond that involves the electrostatic attraction between oppositely charged ions. So, this one is positive and this one is negative. Atoms that have lost one or more electrons is called cation. So, this guy is a cation. Atoms that have gained one or more electrons is called anion. So, here sodium lost one electron and fluorine gains one electron. So it's cation and this one is anion. Now we'll talk about electron. So electron from one atom will mix with another atom to form a compound. You can see sodium which got one electron, the electron is not lost but it transferred to chlorine to form a chlorine ion, it's minus. So we have Na plus and Cl minus which forms sodium chloride. They are oppositely charged and electrostatically attracted. This is how the opposite poles attract each other in a magnet. The same thing is happening in the ionic bond. So NaCl is an ionic compound because it is held with intact by ionic bonds. The same thing will happen with magnesium and oxygen. You can see magnesium got two electrons here, two electrons here and this guy got six electrons. So, two this guy need eight electrons in the outer orbit. So, my two electrons goes here, it's two plus. If it loses, it's two plus 
this one is 2 minus so mg o which forms an ionic bond and it's electrostatically attracted so it's 2 plus and uh, this oxygen is 2 minus so we'll go with calcium chloride you can see calcium got 2 in the outer area so ca 2 plus and chlorine got 7 here so additionally one will join here and one G will join here and it form minus and minus so we got calcium 2 plus and chlorine minus CaCl2 they are oppositely charged and this can be balanced each other CaCl2 So electrons are transferred from the metal atom to a non-metal atom. It may happen. They stick together because of electrostatic forces like a magnet. So metals will tend to lose electrons and become positive cations. And non-metals will tend to gain electrons and become negative anions.